Now at noon, an Osceola County doctor accused of sexual battery on a patient is now out of jail. The story we broke yesterday on News 6 at noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shelly Munez. And I'm David Hall. That doctor still hasn't gone back to work. And as News 6 reporter Kissin O'Connor tells us, his office is actually still closed. Well, the doctor may have bonded out, but as you can see from this sign, he is still not in. Several patients showed up for their appointments Friday morning, shocked to hear their doctor, Basharat Hussein, had been arrested. Arrested? Thursday night, Dr. Hussein walked out of jail covering his face. A judge gave him permission to keep practicing at his wellness and primary care medical clinic in Kissimmee with some restrictions. Condition of release here. You may treat them, however, another female must be present in the room with you, an employee of your office. But the morning after his release, the office door stayed closed. Osceola County deputies arrested Dr. Hussein after they say he sexually battered a 20 year old patient during a gynecological exam. That patient told deputies the first time she felt uncomfortable, Dr. Hussein performed the exam without using gloves and without a nurse present. She says the next day his office was closed, but the doctor invited her in, then checked her without gloves again. This time, the victim says Dr. Hussein asked her if she felt excited. While Dr. Hussein stayed silent, the person who bonded him out is defending him, claiming to be another one of his patients and saying the victim in this case is making the whole thing up. Another patient today told us he plans to come back as soon as the doctor does. Well, if he comes back, I'll be back. He didn't do that to me. If and when Dr. Hussein does decide to come back to work, a judge has ordered that he will not be allowed to see any of his female patients without another woman present. Now deputies are asking anyone with similar situations to give them a call. In Osceola County, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.